obviously on Dirk Gently's holistic detective. Ah! Holy shit, Dirk! We're in Wendemore! I was to find the boy, and I did, and I got him killed. I quit being a detective. I'll solve this one on my own. Bravo. Amanda? Stay where you are. I'll find you. You're gonna be fine. I think Amanda's in Wendemore. Ah! Guys must be killing each other for no reason. There can still be peace. Then everything will be up. Kill them all! I need you, Amanda. I came here to get you. You came here for you. I'm not afraid of you. I shouldn't have left. I should have been here. You betray all of us. No, look, I can explain. <laughs> What we have here in the house is a pocket dimension. The geometrically impossible duplicate of the house that is accessed through a portal in the upstairs bedroom. Right, a pocket dimension. Um, and that is a small dimension. Can I talk to Ken? Dimensional gateways are in line with the file. You should be careful, they could be dangerous. <laughs> Oh, uh, I think I'll be okay. I have not had any luck tracking down Bratzman or Project Icarus. I think there's another portal in the house, but we haven't figured it out yet. Any sight of Farrah Black? You know, she slipped away, but I don't think she's going very far. Okay, keep your eyes open and lock down the entire county. We're reaching an inflection point, and some kind of convergence is probably coming soon. Oh, Ken, you have a dirty mind. I will do. Yes, sir. Copy that. Thanks, priest. Keep me posted. Or don't. What are you guys talking about? Dimensions? Like a hidden world inside the house. But there were references to something like it in the old file from the original Blackwing in the 60s. And they never followed up after the government pulled funding from Project Paperclip and canceled all of the top secret programs. Somebody dropped the ball back then. 50 years later, looks like a touchdown on the half court for an interception. Huh? I, I don't play sports. 
what does any of that mean? Project Paperclip? You have got to read the files, man. Stop telling me to read. Can you chill? No! No, this is... Ugh. Okay, there's no way for a normal person to understand portals. Seven people have disappeared from here, okay? They just vanished from right under our noses. One of them twice. And I know for sure that there are no stupid pockets in my, like, secure, like, underground, like, government facility. Are you done? Yes! No! Maybe, I don't know. You guys are, like, talking about inflection points and convergence, and I don't know what any of that means. What do you know about Project Lamia? about it okay if you put the gun down Susie Borden was magic she was like she, she was she was she was like a witch she shot flying guillotine shapes out of a stick you saw that right I did how how did that happen okay, let, let, let's put the gun down sorry everything's going nuts Farrah, the prisoners are gone. Like, gone! Like, they broke out! <laughs> Cell phone? Not working. Internet? No. Every time I listen to the police radio, it's just government broadcast emergency shit. Slow down. <laughs> okay? This is, this is, you're, this... you're very heightened right now. Look! The scissor sword thingy is missing from the evidence locker and the chainsaw, too. And there were dudes, scary dudes, scary military dudes in the hospital. Okay, relax. <laughs> Breathe. <sighs> That was Blackwing. I don't care who that was. We need to get out of here. They won't let us leave. Todd and Dirk are gone. I think they went to Wendemore. <laughs> that means we have to stop Susie Borton. We're going to go to her house and we're going to arrest her. You saw all the crap she did, right? She's a witch. What are we gonna do against that? Without that wand, she's just a human being. I know it's gonna take a lot of firepower, but I think we can disarm her. Disarm her! You're crazy! Vera? Where's Hobbs? This is all a joke, man. I just took this job as a favor so I can hang out with him. <laughs> He's my best friend. I'm not supposed to be here! We have to call someone or, or something. I mean, this is, this is, this is dangerous. Who's gonna protect people? Who, who's gonna help people? We have to call Tina. the police. We are the police. Where are we? Some kind of town. 
just before we got here. I thought it was better to let you sleep. Seriously? You're giving me the silent treatment? I know you're upset. And I'm sorry. Really, I am. I'm sorry that you're... The Wanzi was killed. Wakti. Her name was Wakti. And Farson died too, along with like 20 other people right in front of us. I don't know what you've been doing, but I've never seen anyone die before. I really just want you to not be here. After I heard you scream on the phone, everything I've done, everything has been to try to rescue you. I don't know why I called you. I was panicking. Sorry I did that. I didn't mean to make me your responsibility. You're my sister. And? I mean, what, you, you thought that you finding me would somehow make everything fine? We are still not okay. And now we've been captured by cartoon people in an alternate dimension. What do you think has changed? I have pararibulitis. What? I got my first attack the day you called for help. And it's been happening ever since. Are you for real right now? I took it like a message. It, it meant that I... I couldn't give up. No matter what. I just wanted to make things right with you. I, I thought if, if I found Dirk and I found you, then everything would... I don't even know. Work out. Get normal life back. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Look at where you are. Didn't you say you came here through a bed? I mean, like... You were ranting at those guys a lot, but I'm pretty sure I heard you say flying car, purple people eater, and love spell. What? Do you want to go back to working at the hotel? Todd, your normal life is over. Lamia is a person or entity called Mona Wilder. She's a variable physical non-constant. Like uh, a shapeshifter. Yes, but no. It's more like she can become anything. But once she changes, she begins to forget who she was originally, and it takes a bit of a nudge to bring her back. She's most comfortable as inanimate objects. When they brought her in, she'd been a chair for six years. Are you saying... Okay. What are you saying? Watch this. There it is. See it? This is from the same night Dirk gently disappeared. That toy's eye color changed when it interacted with Dirk. And again? Eye color changes right before Amanda Bratzman and Incubus 4 vanished. You think Mona is the doll? Yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Book says control the pool, the kingdom, the whole world will be mine. You stupid things. Show me how it works. <laughs> Fine. I'll do it myself. It's the same way I do everything. I'll just do it myself. Tingles. 
I can see you. But come over here and give us a hand, will you? Top of the morning to you, Gavna. I be being a normal man of this place here. Oh, hi, y'all. It's past noon, you hoopty fruit. Give us a hand, will you? Make yourself useful. Well, that looks like a... Uh... A normal thing to me, compadre. Yo como la ventana. Tu eres mi madre. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> Gonna be some good separations today. Snip, snap. Uh, don't mind my asking, but, um... <clears throat> what's it for? Bring justice to a pair of witchy cuckoos. Foreign types. Trust spies. The word is... Their brother and sister claim to be from another world. All fucked in butt talk, if you ask me. Brother and sister. A brother and sister. Hey. Who be ye the hand of? The truss or the mage? We know they are working together. I told you, we don't work for anybody. How did ye come to work with the trusts? What were those terrible weapons they wielded? And where is Panto now? I, I met Panto back in my world, but I have no idea where he is now. And that hardly counts as knowing the guy or any of the pink-haired people. And those things that they were holding? They're called guns. They're from our world. You keep saying your world as though we're supposed to believe it. Wait, you think you're the only ones having a hard time believing this is happening? I did not sign up for some kind of murdery acid trip Ren Faire nightmare. This is weird for us too. Todd! You're Farson's mom, right? Yeah, I'm sorry for your loss. I knew Farson. He was a great person, but you're wrong about what happened to him. He wasn't kidnapped by the trusts. Farson told me he ran away from home because of all the fighting between the two families, but he got captured by those asshole Kellum Knights who then spread the rumor that it was the trusts who kidnapped him. They knew that that would piss you guys off and distract you from the real problem. Their army is coming here. chance to do what Farson would have wanted. Make peace with the trust and maybe me and him and Dirk gently can help you save your people before there's enough. No more lies. What did they say? Execute them both.
What kind of trippy crap is this? Bob? Hey. Hey, bud, you in there? Jesus, fair are those pins? Time and space are no longer obstacles. What is wrong with him? Well, now I am going home. The queen. Farrah. The queen. Farrah. The TV's not plugged in. This is not good. This is not good. You don't think they're actually going to kill us, right? No. Don't call it. What? Why? Listen, pararibulitis works <clears throat> different here. Wakti was teaching me how to weaponize my attacks. Maybe you could do it, too. Well, okay. But I, I swallowed it, so... I want you to hit me right now. What? No! <laughs> ah! What? I have gotten too used to this. I'm too good at controlling my attacks. Hit me. Maybe we can trigger one and I can use it to get us out of here. Okay, look, I'm not gonna hit you in the- oh, No! Stop it! No. Ah, oh, that's really starting to hurt now. Oh, ah. oh I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Nothing. Ah, oh, Jesus! This is like... Orlando. Orlando. <laughs> we were in that car for like nine hours. I, I can't believe you remember that. You were like a baby. You always say that. I was like seven years old. <laughs> it was really crazy. What? Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. I don't think this is gonna work. Cardio has got to be legendary. Why is your hair black? Oh, uh, it's like a, a disguise, a, a crappy disguise. Fair and I were on the run for months. Did anything happen between you guys? Yeah, actually. What? Ow! She is so out of your league. Um, hey, you're the one who drove <laughs> off in a van with a bunch of drunk magic homeless dudes. What, you think that... No, absolutely not. The Rowdy Three, they're like a whole different type of thing. I was just worried about you. <laughs> you know you heard me, right? You're my hero. How do I get my brother back? Because I want him back. I look at you and I'm like, do I even know this person? I'm sorry. I'm trying. Well, we're going to die in about an hour or so. Try harder. <laughs> you sit there, Bob. Oh, God. What do you think is wrong with him? I think he's in some kind of trance. I, I think the TV is doing it to him. What, like some kind of magical TV? Okay, okay, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Get him out of here. Okay. Hello, ladies. Can he see us? Yes, indeed I can. Lucky me. Unfortunately, I'm already elsewhere. The face you see here is just a spell. A curse, in fact. I understand if you're confused. There's so little magic in your world. You're the mage. You gave Susie the wand. My, aren't we a sharp knife? Someone's been paying attention. We'd like to have a word with her. Oh, 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 I'm sure you would. Unfortunately, Susie has already gone to Wendemore. I have decided that that world is no longer worthy of my attention. I hope you don't mind if I will excuse myself. In fact, I'm going to excuse both of you, too.
British guy from the thing the other time. You? You are gonna hate your situation. Get away from me! Something's up this happening. Where is that? Listen, listen. Don't grab me, don't grab me, don't grab me, don't grab me. I am. I have never hit anyone before, and oh, I do not know what to do now. And and to you, beast, I am sorry. I have been rude. I have become a violent, young or oh, youngish man, and my face feels very hot, and my hand might actually be broken, and so don't hit me. We're looking for the boss. A little guy with black hair. Amanda. Amanda has been captured. She and her brother are captured, and they are going to be executed. Yeah, well, we'll have to get the drummer out of that lickety split. All right, boys. Let's go kick some ass. Ah, let's go beat the crap out of everybody. Yeah, I love beating up crap. No, no, wait, listen to me. You don't even know where they are. There are too many people for you to try and rescue Amanda and Todd alone. You're risking their lives. And your own. So? You got a better idea? Yes. Yes, actually, I do. I have a plan. <laughs> okay, this guy's in charge. <laughs> Mr. Sam. Where is the mage? Huh. Where is the mage? Huh. Uh, you keep getting louder and louder and ain't changing his answer. Can I try something? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Bob, you know me, right? Huh. Okay. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play tequila talk. Okay, you know what that means? That means if you want to say yes, you just make a noise. And then to say no, you just... Sound good? Huh. Did your wife do this to you? Huh. Is she coming back from Wendemore? Is that a... What is, I mean... No, 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 it's working. That was a no. She's not coming back. Is the mage still here? Good, good job, man. Oh. Okay, well, what is he doing? Okay, okay, Bob. Bob, buddy, I really, really, really need your help, okay? The sheriff is missing, and we, we huh. don't... What, what, what did you just huh. say yes to? Do you know where Hobbs is? Huh. Oh. Okay, okay. 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 <sighs> Bob? Look at me, okay? I need you to remember that drunken disorderly where I looked the other way. I just caught Scott with weed. I didn't even so much as write him a ticket. I just took the drugs, because I'm a good friend, okay? I need you to do something for me now. I need you to reach deep down inside and do one thing for me, okay, man? Because I've been there. I've been so out of it that I didn't know what was going on, but I did it. I reached through, I found words. I need you to do the same, please. Hobbs is in trouble. He needs our help. He's your friend, too. Please, just find the words. Are you? Are you? Cool. Cool. Corey? Did you just say Corey? Huh. Oh! Hobbs is in the quarry! Good work, officer! <gasps> Hey, Todd. I just... I'm scared. Me too. Good P. 
people of Inglenook. You have lived under the dark cloud of war for far too long. But do not be fooled. The true threat to our lives lays with the uncivilized trusts yes! and those magical creatures they consort with in the woods. But do not fret. The chaos ends today. Be brave. No. It is I who am the have to be being the brave one. On guard, sir! Formed your Panto's boyfriend, and as I always say, any boyfriend of Panto's is someone I might meet in another dimension. Are you really Dirk Gently? He really is. I really, really just so am. And I have just one question for you, Silas. How long has the feud between your two families been going on? Three generations. Since the beginning of time. Wait, since the beginning of time or three generations? Both. Because for this place, the beginning of time is three generations ago. You solved the case. Oh my god, I forgot to tell you I solved the case. <laughs> May I? Yeah, yes, please. Talk. Yeah, obviously. In the 1950s in the town of Bergsburg, a family named the Cardenases with one son, Arnold, were shocked when they discovered a baby in a boat in the middle of nowhere. Then, out of the kindness of their heart, they took in this baby boy, but bad call, arguably, because it turns out this baby had, stay with me, godlike reality warping powers that activated whenever he fell asleep. Basically, his dreams would come true, but in a bad, scary way, not a beautiful, inspiring one. 
All the weirdness the boy was causing in Bergsburg attracted the attention of a government agency, the predecessor to Blackwing. This, of course, was stressful for the Cardenases, who didn't know how to handle the boy's powers and were arguing with each other already over whether or not to sell the farm to the Kellum Corporation. I can't believe I'm able to follow this. Kellum. Name for the mage Kellum. Mm, not quite. I, I don't understand anything that's happening here. And I love it. I love Bibbit. Tensions in the Cardenas house rose until they finally exploded. She came home with a new car, having agreed to sell the farm. They argued and, gasp, Marina Cardenas killed her husband with a pair of scissors. <laughs> Very bad move for multiple reasons, but mainly because the boy freaked out and retreated into a dream state, launching his mother into the sky, putting his father inside a tree on the farm he loved so much. Wait, and... is there like a whole new case going on? The case is the same case as we're in now, which to you is new. See, after their parents were dead, that left Arnold, the older brother, alone with the boy. Arnold was understandably traumatized after losing both his parents, so he called the number the government agency had given them and turned the boy in. That's what Arnold must have been trying to tell us. The thing he feared never being forgiven for, betraying his brother. Ding! But a wrinkle. The stress of being taken away by the men in black made the boy try to use his power at a scale he never had before. He tried to make his fantasy real. The mural. He created Wendemore, an entire dimension in an instant, with its, with its own people, its own magic, from the boy's own mind. So, all of us here, just figments of a scared child's mind? No, 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 you are real people, with real lives. The boy's waking dream was like, the big bang that created this universe. The sheer power of that creation caused an energy surge. That was the 67 event. And threw the boy himself into a coma, leading this world to fall slowly into chaos without its rightful ruler, which it has done and will continue to do until the boy is returned here. Done. Did it! I'm making it a thing. Did it! This... Nerdy bullshit sounds exactly like the kind of nerdy bullshit I expect you to be involved in. Yep. That's Got about that. right. Nerdy bullshit. Wait, wait, so who is Susie Borden? Well, listen. I don't know, Todd. You've got the one thing I don't know there, but listen, I hate her so much. Wait, so how does any of this help us? Because I know who, and more importantly, where the boy is. He's Project Moloch. He's in Blackwing. He's been there the whole time. Wakti. Oh my god, Wakti. She said that she had a friend in Blackwing and that she was able to look there. Mona Wilder! That was Mona Wilder! We can... You're saying we can fulfill the prophecy. You could return the boy and save Wendemore. Yes. If we could get to Blackwing, sure, that's where the boy is, but... Drama can do that! What? You? You can get us into Blackwing. I mean, I literally learned how to do that yesterday, but... Todd. Todd! Everything is connected. Everything is connected. Hey, stay close to me, right? That's Hobbs' car. It's a mage. What's he doing? We are going to have so much fun. 